What's going on, everybody? Thanks again for joining us on another special episode of the Who Do You Think You Are podcast. podcast. This is episode 157, Seven. and as always, i like to take this time to ask each and every one of you, please just go to the YouTube. Please! Please! Just go to the YouTube, mm. type in, in the search bar, W-D-U-T-U-R, where the first ones that come up, hit the like, hit subscribe, and maybe share it with and a watch friend. It. And watch it, yeah. <laughs> yeah, watch the whole thing. Yeah. Yeah, man. We're sure. doing it out here. Also, check out the social medias <laughs> at WDUTUR Pod across all platforms. That's Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. What other ones are we on? Reddit. They know all the platforms. Yeah, y'all know all the platforms, yeah, dude, bro. What are you, an idiot? And let's blast off, why don't we? All right. Hey, Nick. Hey, Pedro. Who, Who do, do you, you think, think you are? are? Flash. Wait, is it? I can't fill up a space shuttle with geriatrics. Hello, <laughs> I am Nick in Studio 3. This is the control room. We have a calm, patient energy right now just before Jeff Bezos takes off and leaves orbit. I would say shame on you, the 200,000 people almost that signed the petition to not let him back into orbit. I think you are all monsters, and I believe that you all have a special place in H-E double hockey sticks. And to my right, we have... I am Pedro. I have a little piece, but big ball energy. Oh, yeah. Hell yeah, I like big ball <laughs> energy. Dude. I'm Chris James. Find me online at CJ Talks Funny. You guys want to hear a couple jokes? Let's hear them. I got jokes about bees. Okay. You want to hear a joke about bees? Bees? Yeah. Totally on topic. Let's do it. How do bees <laughs> masturbate? Dude, we're trying to Wait. make sure yeah. Jeff Bezos Wait. gets to outer space. Wait, Wait for dude, give it. it to him. All Wait right, hold it. on. Huh? I'm ready. How do bees masturbate? Uh, How do bees, bees masturbate? masturbate? They buzz off. Oh. oh, is that on a popsicle stick? How do I, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> How do bees perform circumcision? They give it a buzz cut. Oh. Yeah. Why did the conservative bees freak out about their daughter's new boyfriend? He's black. He was Africanized. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. Yep, you got it. And lastly, <laughs> lastly, but not leastly. Yes. How do bees measure space time? Shoot it. In buzz, buzz light years, years back dude. to you. Dude. You know what, dude? And that's, see, this is in the office. There's always the funny guy always trying to write jokes, yeah. dude. We're trying to get Jeff Bezos in space, and this guy's making bee jokes over there, dude. Yeah, well, save even, the bees. He's not even focused on the he's legend. Just, yeah. The man. Jeff Bezos, dude. What, a, what an honor to live alongside. What a hero. What a hero. Richard Branson did it already, bitch. Mm, I don't. I mean, first of all, I wouldn't call anybody the B word, especially on you know, work hours. Yeah, HR. HR Stacy is yeah. crazy in the HR. Dude, HR so. Stacy. And oh. Stacy looking thick, dude. Is she? Yeah, She's no. looking milked up, dude, for sure. That's wild. You know any news about Stacy? Nah, I haven't heard anything, dude. dude. I want to give her my Apollo thirteen. Whoa! Oh, yeah, I only got an sure. Apollo three, so yeah, three inches, dude. Yeah, yeah but. I'm not blasting off anytime soon. But they soon. thick inches, bro. But what did I it's say? Thick. I said big ball energy, and that's what that's I'm bringing what is, you, dude. dude. Oh. Yeah, what do you need? There's a shuttle, right? But what, you know, <clears throat> what enables what the shuttle to the lift off and just explode? Not Challenger. No, let's not go there. Just blast off into space. To blossom oh. into a sweet the balls, prolapse. Oh. Whoa, man. Sorry. Too early, dude. We haven't even hit three minutes. He already said Jeff Bezos is a bitch, which I disagree with, dude. You're allowed to do that on YouTube. He's my now. hero. Jeff Bezos is an American hero, dude. I think he's going to go down in history next to Martin Luther King, Malcolm X, Bill Gates. Frederick Douglass. Frederick Douglass. I, I think he's going to go Rosa down on Parks. that science teacher, his ex-wife married. But dude, Is she married? Whoa, she already she remarried? remarried? She remarried a science teacher. She, like, no wonder he wanted to get out oh, the fuck this world, dude. So down to earth. <laughs> oh, so that's what he's trying. He's trying to up the science teacher. The science teacher is like teaching space and stuff like that. Like they're making the like. He's like, let me things. teach you a little something about space, yeah. Bitch. bitch. Yeah, look, my money bought this. I said I wanted space. Yeah. Now I'm getting my space. <laughs> yeah. Imagine, how, good. imagine how fast he's gonna deliver your packages now, dude. Hell yeah, he, dude. He doesn't do it. You can be getting Amazon delivery by via intercontinental ballistic missiles, huh? <laughs> Hell yeah, Whoa. dude. Dude, that's <laughs> wild. That's uh, stupid. Yeah. I mean, it all happened, right? He went out, what was it, like 11 minutes or something? Um, I think so, yeah. I don't know. I know, like, Branson just did, like, a quick hit 
hit zero gravity and then pop back down. Yeah. Yeah, so who's the real bitch, dog? Branson. Branson. <laughs> that old ass mother. Yeah, go back to your virgin, island, dude. little virgin bitch. Yeah, though he, oh, lost, yeah, the, he lost the island. Oh, did he? He literally bought it in like in a week. I think it f- like flooded and now it doesn't exist anymore. <laughs> Idiot, dude. That, I'll be at insurance on that. That bro. happens a lot, I think, on those islands. That's why they're not like crazy expensive because they just kind of pop up. That's why they're trying to buy planets now. It's much like the whole Chinese in- infrastructure, dude. Damn, buying planets, no, dude. No, why but, did you just blow my mind like that? Because <laughs> you're an idiot. <laughs> Sorry, dude. I'm kidding. All right. <laughs> I saw this. Uh, su- okay. No, but I saw the super cut. Oh, oh yeah, super cut. Cool. It's a cultural misunderstanding. Yeah, dude. man. Go ahead, continue. Your story saw, is really cool. I saw <laughs> this crazy, like super cut, like this twelve minute uh, super oh. cut of after the Miami building collapsing, how China, like all of their infrastructure, is made like literally without any support. It's like literally the cheapest thing. So like they have buildings and bridges and stuff falling and killing hundreds of people all the time, but it's obviously not allowed to leak outside of, you know, their news base because they're so good at keeping things quiet. And they can't like sue the government. And they can't, and they can't even bring it up. And I mean, I'm talking about like huge... Uh, um, and Betty got just crushed by this bridge. It's ins- yeah. You can't it's do anything yeah. about it. Well, like people do you get are, compensation. Like, hey, I don't think nothing. So. And they're spent like these are probably rich people or something. Yeah, if I like, was a rich girl. But <laughs> they're rich people like buying these like crazy expensive buildings. And, like wind will just knock off a whole panel and it'll all just collapse. Like it's not even just like po- like poor like sections. It's uh-huh. like. Everybody, it's like so. It's like they're just trying to do this big build quick thing, so it like looks all flashy on the outside. And then I, I don't know. It, it kind of blew my mind a little bit, just because like you saw some construction workers going to like the bar, like the wire and stuff that you make the houses. They would just break it with their hands. Isn't that kind they're of bound strong, to happen dude. with communism, though? Yeah, for che- cheaper infrastructure, right? Because the just government is making all the decisions on what's best, and the government doesn't have the ability to do that. Like right. the government can't innovate anything. The government can't. <laughs> You know, it's not in the business of every single thing in the world. So when it tries to, you know, regulate every single thing in the world, it's going to f- obviously fail. Yeah, it's, it's pretty wild. I mean, I think it's so. You're saying you support communism, dude? <laughs> yeah, dude. yeah, we're pro saying. communism <laughs> on this podcast. He's saying you got to break a couple of legs to make an omelet, <laughs> make dude. A basket, or what? and they have any Chinese kids? Yeah, <laughs> you got to break a couple Uyghurs to make a basket. King Christian. Yeah, take me edge, out of here dude. take me to space dude <laughs> well that's why bezos wanted to blast off is because his wife ex-wife now just remarried so he's like dude, i'm sense. fucking out of this that world that's yeah, sad yeah, that was quick at least for 11 minutes he's like he's dude just, that relationship was clearly over years before how do you know that they just weren't getting along you know bezos would call me occasionally and be like hey dude she's on you know her her stick again mm-hmm. like going about how i'm doing bad to the people and what am i doing with so much money i could be helping out so much yeah and i was like basis dude you have to at one point you have to cut your losses mm-hmm. you know and and he can get way hotter bitches dude oh yeah yeah i mean just look at who he got right after he went his with his wife. brother better yeah closer i think they have a <laughs> deeper relationship that's what they said it was on the first interview when they got back they said what did you guys do up there and they connected so yeah. And I guess his wife has a tilted pelvis, so he can't even really get in that deep. Wow. Oh. Yeah, that's, I mean, in some states, that's like probable cause for a divorce. Yeah. Uneven, uneven uh, Rectal pelvic. Sexual. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Tilted pelvis. Yeah. Tilted pelvis. Tilted like, pelvis tilted is tilted. TP. And it yeah. bends my dick when I try and put it in there, and I want a divorce. Yeah. Sounds perfectly legal. If it to hurts. Me. If it hurts. It don't make it squirts. Uh, oh, oh no, no. <laughs> dude! Sorry, King Christian, <laughs> Mrs. Bezos. Ground control to Major Pedro, <laughs> the Major Bomb. That was a bad, bad. <laughs> That's all right, bro. Dude, when I was dude. when I was trying to find like drops of Bezos, like there's so many. We- I don't really know that much about him, re- except for like he's one of the wealthiest people in the world, and he has like the started with an books, empire, dude. Yeah, and he's got a thick hog. Oh, I'm sure, dude, for sure, but. I bet you he, he has a little tiny ding dong. He has a crazy laugh. Like he, Does like it? he, yeah. Like, and I was watching these videos, like these super cuts of him and, and all these interviews. And he does this thing that I, I, I see like a lot of, um, 
powerful people like try to do, they always think they're funny or like they're the comedian. Like they're so used to like shooting shit with people that they like work with or everything like that. Like, and what they do, like to tell you that now that I'm more superior than you and I start laughing, you start laughing with me. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And so it's like a very like aggressive thing like where it's like Kamala Harris yeah, laugh. <laughs> kind of like hit, if you hit the red one where he goes, I would love for it to be after I'm dead. Well, maybe here, I'll give you a, a taste of I didn't want the whole laugh to be on there. <laughs> he picks up his phone, takes off the glasses to see it. <laughs> Because to get the, my facial recognition, dude. You know what I'm saying? All it right. gets you with your glasses, dude. Not but you do need to follow your passion. Right, so. right. I would love for it to be after I'm dead. <laughs> 40 minutes with you. And like those kind of, like he literally does that all the time. Like over, after everything he says. Like, ah! Did you hear the way he laughed it out to his like, ah, ha, ha, ha. Yeah. like, he's like sending it to you to say, right. Right. You know, it's like so. No, uh, you laugh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's so sociopathic. Talk dude. about, you know, big, powerful people. Oh, yeah, dude. Dr. Evil in the mm -hmm. house. The OG, he looks dude. like Dr. Evil, too. Dude. Holy hmm. shit. Did we just break news on WDUTUR, <laughs> yeah, oh. dude? Bezos is Mr. Evil. Oh. Doctor, he didn't go to four yeah. years of medical school. Sorry, my bad. Back Thank off, you. dude. All right, fuckers. that's a that's a pretty Jeez. funny tie in though. Yeah, he that's is wild. Dude. I didn't even think about that. I was like, perfect. I guess it's all bald people he's look alike, come, dude. He's gonna come yeah. back with a scar with a scar across his eye. Yeah. yeah, I went to space. <laughs> I went to space to be the first one to eat pussy. <laughs> that's how I got this scar. And pussy is what I call my brother, dude. I have it's just like kind of on topic, but not. And I wanted to bring this up when my cousin was on here. They're like a funniest of funniest what a stories. Guy, huh? I shout love out. I love that guy. Oh, yeah. He's shout awesome. Out. What's his name? I don't remember. <laughs> um, so there's one of these times, like you know those roller coasters, those VR roller coasters, where like you go inside of this like little simulation, like yeah. simulation, then it like rises up and it like yeah, yeah, tilts yeah. you and shit like those that. Are so dope. And I, it's so dope, I especially like 15, those. 20 years okay. ago, because this was like before. Are you talking about where you're looking at a screen and it's a pretend? There's roller coaster? a screen and you're like, but you're str like harnessed I hate in those. Really? Really? I, hate, I always but thought that it was actually like why are you spins so okay? and. Because it's lame. You still get the yeah, whatever, dude. I didn't look. Feel like, it is maybe I got something genetic or something. Like, look, it's because not I the, could no. never get the sensation. It's out not of the it. same as a roller coaster. Yeah, yeah. Not, not at all. But if you um, willingly suspend your disbelief, yeah. yes, which we know you don't do, and that's why you're so sad. <laughs> 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 anyway, so my cousin goes in there, and it's like when we're <laughs> in our dumb, dumb teens. And he like tricks the guy that checks to make sure we're all buckled in and he doesn't lock in at all. Nothing. So he's just like sitting there without the harness on or the seatbelt. We go straight up. And the first thing I remember, his body just slamming straight into the screen. And so for the next like minute, he's like, I, I don't know why they never turned off the, the roller coaster. Cause like they had to hear him like barrel rolling and like shoulder checking like to the sides. And like, we finally, I helped him like harness him in and like get him to like where he could kind of like be situated but it's one of the times in my life i've never laughed so hard it was just That's it was amazing. so funny just <laughs> that, just thinking it just because like it's such a dumb like teenager idea like this is going to be so cool first thing i'm just, boom, just straight straight into the screen yeah it's, it's like what's it's this okay. bro yeah, yeah. exactly yeah, it's like a weird flex like i'm not gonna buckle up you know uh, shout out Jacob Anderson. Uh, oh, good times. That's kind of like Bezos, out. though, going to space. Like, if I brought somebody to space, I, I think he'd be, my, he'd be my dude. Yeah, man. Jake? Jake Anderson, dude? Yeah. I'd take him to space. I'd be tight. Hell yeah, dude. Yeah, dude. He probably won't strap in for takeoff. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> 4G idiot. just melts yeah. his face. I don't think that's how science works, but I, I'm in the control center. Science! So. Science! <laughs> um, who would you take, dude? We should... Would I take to space? Yeah. That's an interesting question, man. How long can are we, we going to be can, up there? Can we play the game? Because yeah, this actually it. comes into the okay, game. Okay, yeah, let's play the game, dude. This is going to be the first question for the game. Okay. Today, we're going to play uh, astronaut-themed version of the dating game. Oh. Hell yeah. And please entertain the people while I go get my wig. Okay. Uh, the astronaut dating game, dude. I feel like it's kind of a sausage fest. I feel like it's kind of like the military, like the one girl everybody's trying to bang. But are they, are they co-ed? Yeah. Are they? 
Yeah. We're that progressive in America. If you huh? go on a space show, they don't have girl. They don't have like a African American section, a Chinese section, a man and a woman. I section. thought that's how it worked. Yeah, <laughs> it's not. Yeah, the black guys in the corner is like my water tastes like shit. It's separated no. by racial slurs. Oh, so it is. Yeah. yeah, that's how they categorize. The racial slurs are the boundaries between us. Yes. Oh. All right. That was a little bit of slam poetry for you. That was good, dude. That was good. Can we get a Bezos slam poetry to start us off? Maybe later. Okay. That was terrible snaps. <laughs> <laughs> All hands right. Were wet enough, dog. And back to the dating game. Astronaut. Asked out. Astronaut edition. Uh, I think he had a stroke, dude. <laughs> yeah, it's not good to go in space if you have um, epileptic seizures. You, you boys are billionaire playboys, and you're in a race to be the first man to have sex in space. I'm a sexy government employee who schedules the launch dates. Hey, boy, is he trying to go to space? Yeah. What's up? Okay. Let me see what you're working with. Woo me with your answers to the following questions, and I'll decide who blasts off first. Oh, my God. There's some space I want to fill up in you, dude. Oh, yeah. God damn. Do that. I like to be all up in your orbit. Okay. You you guys are starting off great. (laughs) (laughs) Space Bachelor number one. That's who's you, Pedro. Oh, fuck. Why me? Always first. Um, Because we already were about to ask you this question. Describe the perfect companion to be sent to Mars with for the rest Mm. of your life. Okay. Take a little bit of hit of this, and then I'll answer your question, girl. A little hit of this, and then I'll answer that. A little hit of this, and little, then I'll answer that. that. Um, <clears throat> the perfect companion for me to take to outer space. Uh huh. <sighs> you know, first of all, has to have uh, a good personality. You know. Good person. Uh, you sound nice. Uh, <laughs> yeah. uh, Started at Harvard, so I I'd have to say, you know, as far as looks, I like a little bob cut up to the up to the shoulders. I think you know, um, hair color doesn't matter to me. I'm not more of I'm not an appearance guy. That's good because uh, I don't have hair. You got alopecia? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I got all of that. Oh, girl, you might want to go to the doctor then. All right, I don't know if I'd be taking you to space because you have so many medical issues. <laughs> okay. Great answer. I mean, I'm Thanks. just being honest here. Space Bachelor number two. What up? Sorry. <laughs> what it is, cuz? <laughs> when you... <laughs> oh, what's uh... <laughs> oh, what's good? <laughs> you sound urban. When you yeah. blast your rocket into deep space, mm. do you prefer to fly Virgin Galactic? Or do you like your ladies to be more space experienced? I'm about first class is what I'm saying. I, I'm not touching anything that has virgin in or around it, dude. You know what I mean? Too many too many cases against me. I'd have to agree with you on that one. Yeah. Space so I'm saying. Cases. Yeah, it's plural. You're smart. You're a smart little cookie, ain't you? I want to dip you in some milk and just eat you up, dude. <laughs> Ooh, on I any like kind cookies. of plane. I don't care what, what kind of flight we're on as long as I'm next to you. Mm. Your little twink. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Okay, well, Space Bachelor number two, you seem confused but aroused. (laughs) Space Bachelor number one. Yeah, look, first off, I want to say I'm sorry. I think we got off on the wrong foot. Uh, I didn't eat breakfast before coming to the taping. Nice nag. So uh, I apologize. Sometimes I, uh, I, uh, my emotions show through when I don't have it uh, when I'm on an empty stomach. Okay. So you a bitch? Not. Full I'm sorry. I'm sorry to cut you. So you a bitch? No. Full you, you got my tummy hurt. So I'm a. I didn't say my tummy hurt. Oh, did my I? Tum, tum I didn't say my good. tummy hurt. Did I? That's bullshit. Dude. Whatever, dog. You stick you on your side of the wall. Dog. Why are you number one? You stick on your you side of the wall, one, dog. Dude? Uh, this could be a cultural misunderstanding. I think that's what. Why would take this little piece and make it a roasted <laughs> chicken? Space bachelor number one. I'm going to tell you a scenario. Yo, fuck this bitch, man. Let's just go you and me, dog. Yo, you and me in space right now. <laughs> oh, my bad. I didn't pass it. Maybe we could do a space spatular triangle, an MMF. Ooh. Bro, we both billionaires. Yeah. Huh. Can make a couple of you. Okay, well, go ahead. I'll play your little game. No, fuck my game. Ask me the question. Let's go fuck. <laughs> Why do we have a podcast, even? 
Um, you wake up in the morning, surprised to see my <clears throat> huge tits in bed next to you. Oh, that's the best. When one tits hanging out on like a little tank top. Yeah. Yeah. And then <sighs> you look out the window. <laughs> Then you look out the window and realize we're in some kind of hotel on the moon. Mm. But you have no idea how we got there. What would be your first assumption of how we ended up on the moon? Bill Gates. <laughs> sorry, sorry, I had to do Our that. first assumption on how we ended up on the moon. How did we get there? Look, when your boy gets a little <laughs> blow and some drink in him, I spend money, okay? I don't want. I don't care how we ended up in the moon. I just want to know if it's the dark side of the moon or the light side of the moon. Because looking at your color pigmentation, your skin, we on the dark side, baby. Damn, you took her to the Ooh. moon. Cause you're too embarrassed to hook, her, hook up with her on oh, Earth. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and I woke at all. I wouldn't touch that with a ten foot pole on the Earth. <laughs> Can't let the homies know. <laughs> Because of the pigment. Yeah. <laughs> just they all know me at the Ritz Carlton's holiday ends. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta take this bitch to Jupiter. <laughs> King Chris did it. Yo, it's eight years later, you've been cryogenically frozen. <laughs> <laughs> Wake up, man. <laughs> Let me see them doodoos. Cosby? <laughs> Space Bachelor number two. <laughs> if you were left alone on Mars for 10 years and you could only bring three items, what would you bring? All that ass, all them tits, and all that vag, baby. Woo! 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 Damn. Oh, oh, oh. oh, damn, dude. Oh, my. Hey. Space Bachelor number no one. No food, no water, no nothing, dog. <laughs> Just tits, ass, and that mouth. What'd that mouth do? That's all you need. Yeah, we got tits to drink from, ass to eat from, and pussy to <laughs> wash. We'll see you wash, wash away off. your That's the electrolytes, dude. <laughs> <laughs> electrolytes. The magnesium and some bullshit. Yeah, I don't know. It's got some potassium in there. Space Cheap Bachelor banana. number one. What does your ideal space queen prefer? A long romantic walk on the moon? Or a high speed blast off around the rings of your anus? <laughs> That's good. Hmm. <laughs> She horny, dude. She dirty. <laughs> she horny, She dude. dirty. Space queen. <laughs> Space queen prefers that blast off to she, my she anus, looks like, bro. She kind of looks like somebody on a webcam that has really poor video quality, <laughs> but she charges a low amount. She's so like, I guess I'll jerk off to yeah, this. I mean, yeah. It's glitchy, but. <laughs> <coughs> oh, shit. That reminds me of something. Can, uh, tra- can I divert, divert, divert this? We're still playing yeah, the game, bro. right? Um, that was I the just last question. That. Okay. Okay. Who won? I don't want to forget that part. Um, I think Nick's taking you to space, dude. You know, Nick made me hornier, but Pedro made me feel a little bit more like he would respect me in the long term. Wow. I mean, he's not wrong. I'm such a good guy, dude. I'll get bored of you. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, okay. Well, then then I'll start start projecting my own insecurities out on you. That's what, and you know, 11 minutes in space, you'll get bored with her, dude. (laughs) That settles it. I'm going with Nick. (laughs) (laughs) That's, That's what I'm talking about. Toxic, toxic. Dude, I got your same email. I you got, got the email? I got the email, dude. No way. Yeah. What did it say, dude? I felt shame, dude. Read it out, dude. <laughs> I deleted it. I should have kept it. But you know what the, <clears throat> you know what the sad, hardest part is, dude? The saddest part, dude, is she roasted me, dude, in my, in my email, dude. She said that. Hello, Nick, or something, you know, all yeah. terrible English. Of like, course. You know what I mean? They're from like Yugoslavia or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yugoslavia, dude. You can Obvi- 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 <laughs> Obviously, this one goes on. Yugoslavia on my fucking. Ew. Obvi- don't be dude. gross. Yeah, dude. Dude, you just got an email. Be respectful, dude. You just got an email. Yeah, yeah dude. I'm at least sorry. was it from <laughs> Stacy from HR, dude? This, this could have been a Pedro and CJ podcast if I followed by his rule book, dude. I could have just mm-hmm. ghosted you guys for 48 hours. I'm dealing with some shit. It's a spam email, <laughs> yeah. but. <laughs> fuck I got a lot going on in my life right now. I got this email, dog. Yes. You, I can't you be doing actually, that podcast. I'm <laughs> sick, dude. <laughs> Watch you. I never said I was sick. You did way. say you were sick. Yeah, no, I didn't. Yeah, you did. Dude. I said I was dealing with some shit. I wasn't. I think you replied yeah, to somebody on our Instagram that you were sick, but then you came back around. And you're like, yeah, I was some, some Nic- Nicola. Nicola. Nicola said that Pedro was always sick. Yeah, I was that's like, right. I wasn't sick, uh, dog. That's right. Yeah, you, yeah, you clean. fucking dirt bags get the fuck out of here yeah. trying to push me under that bus you it's all right buddy <laughs> pedro clearly does not have fuck any guilt about this here. and he's resolved all of his feelings 
I don't have feelings, dude. But anyways, dude, she roasted me, dude. <laughs> well, she no feelings, bro. <laughs> she roasted me, dude. She's like, <clears throat> you know, I know this is obvious, but if your hand could have ran away from me, it would have <laughs> even left you by now. I was like, damn, that's cold, yeah. dude. That's cold blooded. I, I respect this woman or man. It's kind of hot. I almost paid her. I almost paid her, dude. <laughs> I almost paid I'll her. I'll pay dude. her for more bomb ass roasts like that, dude. That was a good one. Yeah. It hurt. It's it was a classic roast. It's one of those roasts that you've heard before, but it came in a time of when they're attacking you. It's like uh, the attacky also like roasting you. It was made for you. Yeah. Like imagine, okay, I'll put you in a scenario. You're raping somebody. Mm. Now now roast them while you're raping them. <laughs> God damn, girl. I would love for it to be Hit after the I'm bar. Dead. <laughs> Get me out of this rape situation. Okay, anyway, so that was just Pedro imitating a rape. Dude, that was good. I mean, that's what she would be saying. Get me out of this rape situation. Yeah, that's true, dude. Um, but yeah, but it, was, it wasn't very nice. And I would say any internet attackers or spammers, you know, there are people that are clinically depressed out there and then coming at them and making fun of them because they use masturbating because they're so lonely and they're deprived and they're looking for some kind of connection outside in the world and they just can't find it. And so they have to rub one off. They feel shame every time they close their computer, dude. You know what I mean? They feel shame. I think and it's hot that this person saw you. I'm, that turns me on. Well, I know she didn't because all my things are taped. Uh so there's no real actual concern. You, like you're tucked, you tuck it. I tape it. I, yeah. I do and the ma- you just kind of reach from lock. behind and rub it. I do the master lock up. when you just put your dick inside of your asshole. Oh, I like that. Whoa, dude, you can do that? <clears throat> oh, I like to yeah. see that. I can't do it myself. Oh, it's fun. It's a good It's a good maneuver, dude. I had a bigger dick. Me too. I so wish you had a bigger yeah. dick. Yeah. Me too, dude. Oh, I'm saying so This one's for Pete's but so. big ball energy, people, all right? <laughs> Don't forget that. These balls are huge. These balls are massive. So, some doctors may say, be concerned. <laughs> to infinity. Hell yeah, yeah, dude. And beyond. That's, That's the balls. blast off the rocket, dude. Are these pregnant or what? Did you see them? Awesome. It was funny, though, to get that, <laughs> that same kind of email. I yeah. ca- and I did. I, I was kind of in your shoes. Like, if it was something that I was, you know, kind of, if that was my but, if that was my button. Like I could see yeah. like how it could kind of fuck with you, be like, oh shit, are they gonna actually like release something or? But they didn't even get into that kind of detail, really. So they're like, you have nobody anyways. You have nobody to send this to. You have no shame. You have no friends. You have no family. You have no love. Dude. Like just empty out your bank account. I was like, all right, I don't give a shit, dude. Kill me. You want to put a bullet in my head too? Go for it. I don't fucking care, dude. Send me a picture of your tits before. Yeah, dude. I mean, at least do at that. At least, right? At least like that would be a better trap. Like if you're supposed to click on a link or something, be like. Jerk off to this video right now. You know what I mean? Like, catch you. That's all I'm saying. Dude. I'm going to snap you, dog. <laughs> yeah, show me dumb tits. Oh, yeah. Show me dumb tits. Show, show me, them. me damn tits. <laughs> show me them. Free show the, the nip. And I mean free it, ladies. I'm saying take it all out, dude. Oh? I'm saying it's the summer. It's hot as fuck, dude. <laughs> you know, we're free in the nip. Not leaving much to the imagination, dude. Might as well just flap them out, dude, like a good Catholic girl. I'm saying a good crash Catholic girl. Yeah, man. Shout out. Did you know many good Catholic girls? <sighs> what kind of good are we talking about, Playboy? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> good to uh, freshman Nick. Yo, there's been some good oh, good yeah, Catholic yeah, yeah. girls, too. That's what oh, I'll tell yeah. you that a couple of times, dude. A couple of priests, too. Oh, yeah. What about uh, Father Nick? Father Nick? My grandmother wanted me to be a priest. Yeah, and you she really did. Broke her heart. That's why she got I'm a pr- Alzheimer's and dementia, dude. I'm a, this was the other one, and oh, I am the priest of the airwaves in a way. Shout out, who do you think you are? So damn, I, she was dude. right. That's your description, Nick. Yeah. the priest of the airwaves. The priest. Plus, he molests children, and plus, I molest. Yeah, there's. I mean, that goes King without Chris being kids. said, right? That's the first course I mean, of becoming priest. a priest. priest. Yeah, yeah, what are you not going <laughs> to molest a couple yeah, kids? Yeah, you get your scout badge. In. Yeah, I mean, this guy's at the playground all the time, so he's just fetish. He's just dreaming about it. Yeah, you I just got to commit. Be a priest. You wish. Priest. You wish you could be a priest. <laughs> you, you you molest a couple kids as a priest. You just move to different areas. Right. They're like, you're not good for this church, so we'll send you another city, and then it happens. To get, God damn it! Okay, you're going to Rome for six months. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to Rome. Yeah, this is your pension. You your... need training on yeah. how to cover this shit up. <laughs> yeah, this is pathetic. You know how many kids the Pope rapes? Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> not caught, not once. 
No, caught every time. <laughs> we own our caught, own river. Caught literally every time oh, yeah. and getting gotten <laughs> yeah. away with it. It is. It, I mean, how many? Dude, is that why the Pope just lives at the Vatican? I mean, like that's a, the last place you can send a couple. Him. A couple, you know, sports players. Not to say any pigment of skin. Start taking a knee, and people are outraged. How, who, how, who, where's the outrage <laughs> for the kids getting raped by priests and? church and cult leaders yeah how come we're not like at the vatican like yeah stop raping kids what, <laughs> yeah. the what, are, you gonna, what are you gonna get from taking a knee at the vatican dude like rape my bank account not my kid <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> if you shared your gold you could you know help with struggling 9 -11. people oh. Oh. <laughs> you could finance 9 11 another 9 11 <laughs> 9 12 9 11 still hurts damn that was too far, man. Was it? Yeah, dude. We're what trying to make a far? child molestation joke. <laughs> this could be a cultural misunderstanding. I think that's what it is. <laughs> it is pretty wild, though. The things that the the outrage in certain areas and the places where we say, "Whoopsie daisy," that's a whoopsie daisy. We'll call that's it a whoopsie Let's daisy. Glide a, right over that. The turn, turn the blind. What's that? Turn the blind eye. Blind eye. But can can we can we go back a little? Turn step? the blind eye. Don't get molested. By the guy, yeah. by that big guy, yeah. <laughs> um, I I heard it as turn, no, no. turn the blind eye. Uh, don't tell your parents I did this to you. I heard it actually. Mm. It was a uh, turn a blind eye. Don't look the priest in the eye. Oh, oh yes, that's what. Yeah. Try not to cry. Not I heard that, cry. but I wasn't sure if that was actually pizza added pizza later. pie. Yeah. Is that because I knew what is kid. totally normal goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, okay. Yeah, okay. That's what I've got. It's oh. a button moment for sure, man. God damn it. Jesus uh. Christ. I was just getting into character over here and depersonalizing. <laughs> Sorry. <Just> Nickelodeon. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. Confirmation. Bezos is landed. Is that, I mean, come on. Is this, you only watch cartoons? Have you ever watched news or anything in your life? <laughs> That's what it sounds <laughs> like. <laughs> Nickelodeon. <laughs> No, you watch cartoons, dude. That's it's, why. it's just in do 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 do. Whatever, man. You're a piece do 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 you're a total asshole, dude. You know that? This could be a cultural misunderstanding. I think I think you, there's truth to that, to be honest with you. But to I think what? What the fuck are you even me talking Me being about? an asshole. You're right, dude. Uh, No shit. But People have seen 157 I've episodes. Got, I've gotten that. a lot better. You know what I mean? And I just let it out here. Yeah, keep telling yourself <laughs> that, dude. Yeah. Really? Yeah, dude. I will keep on telling myself yeah. that. Because that's how you become better. You reinforce yourself with a positive me. message. Thank yeah. you. Positive Pedro. mental Pedro. attitude. Pedro, is it? Pedro. <laughs> Pedro, 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 Pe Pedro, Pedro, P, Pedro, 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 Did you catch me at a playground again or what? <laughs> no, oh man, they're not picking you out of a playground or a police lineup anytime soon, bro. You're clean, dude. I can tell, man. You're. Why is it? Why does it? People say clean as a whistle. Like you know that saying. Like oh, you're clean as a whistle. That's a dirty fucking whistle, dude. Yeah. People blowing in it, all the bacteria and fucking mold that probably grows. That's like a terrible saying. What kind of whistle are you blowing from? You never clean your whistle. If you're using a whistle, I clean my whistle every day, dude. But I'm. St it's like still disgusting if you use it for more than an hour. Mm -hmm. You know, refereeing for a children's soccer game or something that I do on Sunday <laughs> mornings at seven a.m. Uh, <laughs> it gets dirty. If I just, and I'm not talking about the whistle. <laughs> <laughs> if I just, because we were just talking about blessing kids, but I think looking at you dressed like this, I'm so glad you didn't become a teacher or something because you were you would be molesting kids. And some and some alternate reality that Jeff Bezos may or may not be, he might have jumped into a wormhole or that's through why, some loophole you know, of time. That's why I don't wear ties, dude. Ties would turn me into the pedophile. Yeah, it's the tie that does because it. it gives me like the authority. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Hey, kid, come over here. Hey, pull on this. <laughs> From the back. So that's Get in my car. I don't wear ties. That's how I keep <laughs> it away, <laughs> you know? That's how I keep the monster at bay. 
<laughs> what a dark episode, folks. Uh, let's, uh, let's, I have, I have, and I have a daughter, bro. Calm down. Yeah. This is all fucking jokes. Bro. That's what makes it worse. It makes, makes it, you know, yeah, a real, <laughs> real problem. So it makes it scary. Yeah, if you're <laughs> single living alone, it's like you're not affected with <laughs> <in> real <life. laughs> And I have a daughter, people, so there's a real risk involved here. If I'm not kidding. <laughs> I didn't even think about it that way. <laughs> <laughs> you fucking assholes. <laughs> this is Rose fucking Pete Day on WDTR, no, dude. What are you talking about? Whatever. We'd like never that, roast dude. you, dude. We'd split roast you. Hell yeah, dude. Spit roast. Oh, is it spit roast? You guys yeah. wish no, you split. could split. Because <laughs> you roasted on a spit. That makes sense. I'm totally chef, you guys. Plus, you want to spit, spit on it before you get in it. <laughs> <laughs> For today's, uh, you know, special meal, or what's it called? <clears throat> When you going out, like, uh, what are your specials? Yeah. A specials. split roast, dude. Split roast. That's what you would tell <laughs> Jeff Bezos. Hey, it's Bezos here. We're having a fucking awesome time in space, you guys. You will never believe this. <laughs> How are you guys down there, you fucking amateurs, getting paid $20 an hour? <laughs> Deliver the box! <laughs> I heard you were on your phone. Sir, I worked a 12 hour shift. I heard you were on your phone. <laughs> You're fired <laughs> from You're space, fired. bitch. The first person to fire someone from space. Fuck you, Donald Trump. <laughs> Fuck you, Branson. <laughs> <laughs> you bitch, Branson. <laughs> we got higher than you, Branson. I can't fill up a space shuttle with geriatrics. <laughs> what is that from? Space Cowboys, dude. I can't fill up a space shuttle with uh, geriatrics. That was a good movie. You should watch it. Yeah, dude. Tommy Lee Jones, dog. You uneducated fuck. I want to go to the edge of space, dude, and look down on this. I want to edge you in space, dude. That'd be hot, man. Yeah. Oh, you'd awesome. get another email for that. <laughs> yeah, dude. We caught everything. Too, probably, and I probably, yeah, there probably are cameras on here. Yeah. So. <clears throat> When you have to do something sexual in space, I think it'd be hard to imagine being on, with a space crew and, like, especially if you're, I mean, when you're around a person for like a, any time, you like start kind of becoming animalistically attracted to them, right? Yeah, I want to fuck both yeah. of you guys right now. That's what I'm saying. Like, and you slowly kind of wear them down and find them at the right opportunity, and then and then wear them in, and wear, them wear, in them in wear them out. out. Yeah, and then you throw them away and say like, why did I waste so much of my life on that person? Yeah, we kick them off a podcast or something. <laughs> yeah. Uh, what we're talking about, Jeff Bezos, <laughs> space. Oh, t- yeah, but like you, t- you gotta have that sexual experience in space. Um, you yeah, can't get a boner you, in space. You can't? Mm-mm. Says, Says who, who, dude? dude. Science, like, scientist. Fucking Fauci Lance Armstrong. said you can't get a boner in space, dude. Oh, you're yeah. going to believe yeah. Fauci, You can't get dude. a boner on Earth, dude. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> There's four masks, dude. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude. Did you see uh, Rand Paul and Fauci got into it again? What? No. They hooked up? Yeah, you guys want to see it? <laughs> Because we're about to go dark right now because things are starting. Wow, Fauci's quite the power bottom. I would have, I would have expected him to be kind of the rabbit, rabbit top. You think so? I don't know. I mean, Rand Paul. Between the two of them, Rand Paul's putting in work. He's laying that pipe down, dude. That's true. That's what I'm saying. It's like you see, like he could, you know, he's probably verse. He's verse. He's very open. Like you know, five ten minutes. Fauci Fauci is going to argue about it though. He's getting fucked, but he's like, I'm the bitch. Oh yeah, yeah, you know, that's like true. Really aggressive. About mm, it. You can see that. It's crazy that he does have sex. How often point. do you think they hook up, Ram Paul and Fauci? Oh, oh, after each one of these little exchanges, they're pro- like that's how they get. That's it. the makeup sex. Oh yeah, the, it's like the it's role play. And that's like the one time Ooh. where Ram Paul threw the, that lawn lawnmower that one dude, his neighbor. Dude, that's crazy. Oh yeah, huh? that's because he caught Fauci and him having <clears> sex. <throat> yeah, and his neighbor without they were in love. Yeah, he's gonna tell dude. him, dude. He's gonna tell the CDC. There's a whole other building in Miami about to go down for this conspiracy. <laughs> saying, dude. Building seven Miami, dude. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Seven and a quarter. Hell yeah, you heard it here predicted on who do you are pod who do you think you are podcast? Condo seven. Fuck yeah. Condo seven. Dude. <laughs> Look into it too. Condo seven didn't exist. <laughs> so what I'm about to introduce is uh, Oh my god. Is that we uh, we might be headed back into <clears throat> lockdown. Have you guys heard about some of this? Let's hear it, dude. Fucking bring this podcast down, dude. We're trying to have fun making child molesting jokes. Lockdown, we got the best numbers ever. Look at what's happening in Australia. Check this out. This is why. 
From a record 82,000 tests, the state today recorded 111 cases and tragically the third COVID death in this outbreak, a man aged in his 80s from the city's southeast. Across Greater Sydney, retail Three. shops will now close. A small list of essential stores can remain open. Construction sites across the city shut down. And from midnight tonight, 110 suburbs across Liverpool, Fairfield and Canterbury Bankstown will be sealed shut. That's 900,000 residents who can't leave their area, Martial even law. for work. Finally, Pretty cool. finally, a government that cares about COVID yeah. and Delta and sickness. Finally, yeah, a government I, that actually enforces rules, not like these free... Every state can kind of do what they want. Let's dance yeah. around what the doctor Fauci is telling us. How many fucking people out there aren't vaccinated? Disgusting. Pieces of shit. That's how many. Dude, how selfish. many pieces of shit are there in the yard, dude? That's how many are. I, I fucking, I'm going to move to us. Where is it? Australia? Yeah, you wish you could, but you can't because it's sealed shut. <sighs> Fuck, dude, man. Yeah. I missed the boat. That's right. A lot of Italians said that back in the day. Dude. Yeah, and it, it started on a boat, didn't it? Sure. Yeah. yeah. Cruise. That's crazy. Yeah, so crazy that's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> it's weird that they're locking down Good over for you, Aussies. <laughs> yeah, dude, over shout three, out to Aussies. Like three people, one of whom, at least one of whom, is an eighty-year-old. When yeah. you were playing that, dude, I was like, this this seems like some you know Black Mirror type of shit where it's like we're shutting down three majors. Like mm -hmm. uh, that, that's what Sealed I was like. in. Yeah, that's what I was picturing. I was like, this fucking martial law is pretty much just martial law, right? Yeah. Yeah, you know what bothers me? What bothers they, you, dude? Because they say sealed in. And how long have we been working on this fucking U.S.-Mexico border? They can just throw one up overnight? <laughs> Jesus Christ, people. Seal us in already. Build <laughs> the wall already. Build the wall. Build the wall. <clears throat> I don't ever want to see my grandpa. <laughs> <laughs> He'll build a tunnel sooner or later, dude. <laughs> It'll be his man. life's work. Sooner, probably. Grabs, it's already there, dude. dude. Yeah, that's true that. Grabs, dude. Oh, dude. You want to see Fauci in heaven, dude. Fauci and Rand Paul go That was wild, though. Three, sealed shut. Like, the way they're, they're, you know, broadcasting it around to people just to instill that. Like, those are those fear tactics of, like, yeah. seal, uh, martial law, or, you know, those, like, Q, Q words yeah, that dude. they just know to use to prepare and uh, fucking conform the society to whatever dude, they want to fucking, fucking do fear ta tactics, dude. By yeah, Joe yeah, Rogan, yeah, I yeah. love that show. Yeah, 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 nice drop, dude. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, fear tactics. Shout out, Joe. <laughs> Joe, Joe dude. I think that was a fear you get. factor. You fucking <laughs> idiot. <laughs> you are getting. Let me finish. We don't know. Well, we don't wait know a minute. It did I come can from the lab, but you. all the evidence is pointing that it came from the lab. You and there will be responsibility for those who funded the right. lab, including yourself. I totally. This committee resent. will allow the witness to. Respond. I totally resent the lie that you are now propagating, Senator, because if you look at the viruses that were used in the experiments that were given in the annual reports that, that were, were published in the literature, that were it is molecularly so right impossible. Now. No one's saying those it, viruses it is, caused it. It no is, is molecularly those viruses caused bullshit, the pandemic. Dude. What we're Randa alleging is the gain-of-function research was going on in that lab, and NIH funded it. That is and not get away from it. It meets your definition, and you are obfuscating the truth. I'm They're not probably, obfuscating the truth. You are the one. Straight up called his ass out. But I will allow the witness to... Let me just finish. Yeah, I want dude. everyone to understand that if you look at those viruses, and that's judged by qualified virologists and evolutionary biologists, those viruses are molecularly impossible no one's to result they are. No in SARS-CoV-2. No one's saying those viruses the pandemic. Paul, We're look. saying they are gain-of-function yeah. viruses because they were They're animal not. viruses that became more transmissible in human, and you funded it. And you, you admit the truth. And you implying... Senator Paul, your time has expired, and I will allow witnesses right. who come before this committee to respond. And, and you are implying that what we did was responsible for the deaths of individual I totally resent that. Have and if anybody and is have lying been. here, Senator, up, it is you. Damn, dude. Mm. Who's that Randy Paul chick, dude? She seems pissed. I don't know, but she's about to <laughs> fuck about you, dude. She's That's a non-binary queen. That's it's like a fucking is. Karen in the fucking White House, dude. <clears throat> Fauci, man. <clears throat> God rest your soul, dude. I think he's going to suicide himself. <laughs> he was like... Associated with the Clintons? Oh, yeah. He's he was really... Down. feeling. No, he'd already be dead, dude. You want to get this far. 
P for, P for pressure in that video. Yeah. Well, so who's it. lying, dude? Fauci or fucking? I, it's hard to tell. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty hard to tell. Yeah, it's hard to you tell. Think? Yeah. I don't know, man. Yeah, I, I don't know. It's all shitty. There's there's a third video, and this is going to bring us back. Okay. This is from 2018. Um, and I think I got this. I got it off of Sam papers in their own. Oh, uh, Sam Tripoli had shared. That sounds like Alex. have shed in their white Alex papers in their own UN documents that they want to create race-specific bioweapons and other systems to depopulate the planet. A lot of this, from my sources, is that they're preparing to release bioweapons, claim that they're naturally uh, occurring, and then use that as the cover for civil emergency, societal control, crackdowns on free speech. Obama put the internet kill switch in five years ago and when he got confronted by it by congress he said well it's in case the bird flu or sars gets out just type that in cdc says internet kill switch is in case bird flu or sars breaks out and they have to control panic and direct every website in the u.s to one government announcement and we looked at every angle and believe a bioweapon release could be the thing they'd release to bring in a world government to counter a global problem and the u.n has said that a global pandemic is the only thing that may save their world government Obelis yes. believe alex, alex jones, jones that's what i always said believe, believe alex jones well that's what, ha what happened in cuba which is crazy uh last week was it is it still going on because oh, yeah for sure They've just blacked out their because like their COVID and Delta like cases and being, being held so poorly like they're they got they ki killed the internet so like nobody's communicating they have no like talking with the outside world yeah. or anything that's crazy yeah and that's an old world order too though and it's weird yeah. oh, to yeah. see I that mean, spin because like there's this whole freedom push over there free Cuba Cuba Libre and all of that and it's like. Uh, the media is almost avoiding it entirely and where they don't avoid it, they say it's over, you know, it's over like government corruption and this and that. And they never mention the word communism yeah. in their report. I mean, there's people that have, that have gone, you know, weeks now without eating or I mean, days without eating, but like yeah. they've Shout just out your daughter, dude. She's on keto. <laughs> Sorry, Start honey. Am Amazon's been working overtime since Bezos <laughs> has been playing around in space. Daddy's gonna come home soon. I swear. Daddy's in space. How cool is that? Daddy's in space. I'm Who's hungry. Dada? <laughs> yeah. Who's this, Mama? Sweetie, you'll remember the sacrifices your father made <laughs> when you were young. <laughs> <laughs> Some memories we will make, not the memories we could have had. <laughs> yeah, but I mean, it's just, it's interesting how it just, this is the story with communism every time. <clears throat> this goes back to like last week when Alan was here, we uh, talked about how, how they, well, I talked about, it, I should say, how have they tried to con like condition us to this zombie break, break outbreak or, you know, some virus outbreak that causes this and like millions of people die. Like we've seen it played out over and over again on the screen thousands of times. Right. So that's like the best form of like conditioning to get us ready for something like that. Maybe coronavirus wasn't the big hurrah, but it was definitely in the direction that they want us, you know, like California is just fucking mandated like masks yep. again or something like that. Safety and now, first. All you know, <laughs> California. If we go back into a lockdown, are you guys, are you, are we just, how do you guys feel? Would you I'm just gonna rob go a Nike and, store? <laughs> this time you're going to get into the riots. Dude? I'm going to get into the riots. I'm going to break <laughs> yeah. some windows, dude. The people, the Shout people out before to you, Nike's lawyer, dude. the people, <laughs> the people like participate in the riots beforehand. I'm going to see you and they'll be like, Oh, your first time dog. Yeah. First time. <laughs> yeah. 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 I can tell. Yeah. <laughs> all the shoes are gone, bitch. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You kept all your tattoos uncovered. Yeah. <laughs> Damn. I was trying to show off to one of those BLM chicks, dude. <laughs> I heard they love tattoos. Nah, that's a fed. Yeah, dude. They all over the Bumble, dude. All over the place, dude. Feds on Bumble, bro. <laughs> feds no, but on I mean, Bumble. Yeah, feds on feds on feds, dude. That's, that's how we know Rand Paul's. Unfed feds, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Sneaking in with Antifa. <laughs> shit, breaking windows and shit. <laughs> Stealing bread and shit, dude. FBI. I'm just saying the bricks. Why were the bricks there? I'm just saying why were there so many bricks there? No, they weren't building anything. Oh, His yeah. project was like four miles away. 
Federal brick instigators, <laughs> dog. <laughs> yeah, what are you talking about, Pedro? Where are we, where are we at? You said Rand Paul. Oh, yeah. Hey, there, a counter to that one point you were making. <laughs> and somebody, so somebody said this to me, the conditioning thing. No, some idiot said it to you, dude. What, why would they want to condition us even? Like why, like with movies and propaganda, like propaganda, like why even condition? Why not just like, pull, like why not just completely flip it? Uh, because then it's like, why not? Why much, do a pretend much more pandemonium? Yeah. I mean, the people, is that what you want? What does conditioning achieve? I mean, slowly withering them down. So I can, or you can try things out, right? You can try, like try to find easy ways, but I'm saying with like the zombie thing or something, why even like warn and put this idea in your brain, that, like people would start eating each other and stuff like that. Instead for like, if they just flipped it that one day, like with UFOs or aliens, like why like tease it instead of just having it just like, Oh, there's aliens that are here that are doing all this. Maybe to portray how people should act and people get conditioned to that. But they're always freaking out. You're setting, you're, you're giving, because monkey see, monkey do, right? Monkey see, and I'm monkey not just talking poo. about Hurricane Katrina and all that. King Chris Kiddis. I don't get it. Uh, right, over, oh, no, my, over my head. Over my oh, head. Way over my head, dude. <laughs> monkey see, monkey do. So, uh, so if you Katrina see. Katrina was built for you. If yeah, you see you. these dramatized versions of, of the catastrophe that's planned or laying in wait or even just maybe like they're worried about you know if they're if they're these like global planners and they're like here's some of the stuff that could happen we don't know how people are going to react mm -hmm. let's lay out some culture around it so that when stuff happens we have a, let's pitch we this, know dude. They're what pitching. they're going to do they're pitching. yeah it's like it's small c contract companies like amazon sell like you know what i can do to your population uh, joe biden <laughs> check this out a 10-day free trial run i'm going to control the weather in missouri think about hunting yeah. If you if you're gonna track an animal and I'm hunt put piss it on myself. or try and um, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> this I mean, is that, a good start. That attracts the animal. <laughs> See, Pedro's thinking. <laughs> I, I need you to catch idea. up a little bit. You just start like you just get out of the camp, <laughs> ready to go hunting. <laughs> you just stand there, just staring at dead in the face. You're like, you guys ready to go camping? Just pissed or sort of running down you're like all right let's go guys <laughs> you fucking ignorant bastard! I'm gonna put the animal that I'm hunting's piss on me. Oh, that was this thing wasn't recording the whole time. No, dude, sorry. Fuck. That's my bad, dude. All right, I think we got it all back there. Okay, are we back? We're saved. Okay, we got and it. we're back. That was chaos, dude. Jesus. That was killed you. you. Flicking, <laughs> I know, flipped a switch, sorry. dude. You're like, I'm on uh, you turned steroids. into the zombie that we were just talking about. Yes, I did. Well, we were you guys were promoting Alex Jones first of all. Then Honestly, we a, cut because Nick said the N word. I am sorry. Like, whoa, that's, dude, that's, that's not cool. That's why the edit was in. Yeah. Sorry. See how we didn't hit the button? It's because <laughs> it's the true. Yeah. true. We had to cut it out. It was the perfect time cut to slip it, it in. Out. Yeah. Okay, Uncle Joey, continue. What were you saying? Um. So. Thing if you uh, so you're hunting Condition. animals yeah. and you're trying to or um, what's it called when you get them to uh, animal husbandry, you know when you marry mm. an animal. Um, Bestiality, like the, dude. There it is. Mm. Uh, but no, that's quick. For <laughs> Hispanic culture. Uh, when you're trying to tame an animal, no. like history, you got that. much to learn about the Hispanic culture. Oh, you have to learn their reactions, and then it's you have to. Called chicken, Mia. <laughs> and then you have to game their reactions, right? So if you're gonna game their reaction, if you're gonna say, oh. I'm going to do a thing and, and I know how they're going to react to that thing, then, you know, it's good to know how they're going to react first and foremost. And so if you can supplant the, the reaction, if you could say, this is the reaction to have when something like this goes on yeah. and everybody thinks that, it's like uh, the whole, we're going to retreat to the woods when the shit goes down thing. Well, where's the first place to look for literally everybody who's ever seen Red Dawn? They're going to retreat to the woods, you know? Go to the mall. Glendale Mall. Yeah, yeah, shout out Glendale. Shout out Glendale. You know, I think that makes a lot of sense, actually. It's sp spoken from a true... Conspiracy theorist. No. <laughs> sociopath, dude. <laughs> you're even thinking thoughts and emotions are just binary numbers, dude. Our numbers just... It's like Braille to you it's in like some there's, yeah, there's, in head, yeah. 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 yeah, dude. Okay, so... There's a glitch! Yeah, but you're probably right, dude. But what can you do, dude? Conspiracies? Want to keep going? Conspir I, have a, I have a good conspiracy. Do you? Kind of. Why is Bezos out in space, dude? That's a conspiracy. What? Why? It, what's the conspiracy behind that? I uh, I saw one. It's the new arc, bro. I saw one thing to kind of like weirdly discredit religion in some weird ways and shatter that, but I think that's probably just some religious cue. Well, <laughs> some Stuff. catastrophe is going to go down. 
Q-tastrophe. We need some uh, Q-tastrophe is going to happen. They need a way to get off the planet while the rest of us poor folks die. Oh, and true. they need us to pay for it. Oh, that's true. Huh? That's, so it's a good trial. Classic, run. classic premise, dude. It's cool that we're subsidizing that. Like a bunch of rich dudes escape from the Yeah, planet we're all about it. So they can abandon and us. And now what people, what are other rich people going to go do? Go, you know, pay Bezos for his technology <laughs> and how he acquired this. And now everybody's got a little fucking blast off shuttle. Yeah. Well, Elon you know? Musk talks about like, oh, we're saving humanity, but the only people who can afford to do any of that shit are going to be like you and your friends. So like, amen, dude. It's <laughs> awesome. Yeah. <laughs> well, wait. <laughs> oh, never mind. You know, the movie, <clears throat> it's the winners. Why do you want to recreate with the winners? Dude, you're not going to. Yeah, but you're not going to be procreate with, with the, the winners, people on dude. the bottom, dude. What are you talking about? It doesn't not, make any sense. You're not going to be on the space shuttle, Nick. I know I'm not going to be on. I don't deserve to be on the space shuttle. Look at me. I shouldn't even be alive right now. It's insane. I would love for it to be after I'm dead. Yeah, that this would happen. But I don't know if that's going to be true or not. But of course they're going to do that. We'll launch your ashes into space. I mean, they're not just going to go to some, you know, every elementary school and get a handicapped kid and take them up to space with them when they can only have 10 people. But who knows? Babels yeah. might have handicapped kids. Why not, dude? Handicapped kids are valuable, too. Yeah, look at I'm, Stephen King, dude. He was a kid at one point. No, yeah. He wasn't. Yeah, but he was smart then. Oh, that's true. Fuck it. King Chris Kiddis. Nice setup. Good part. <laughs> it's like volleyball. Oh, dude, we're fucking Pure passing it back and forth dude. over here, dude. <laughs> We should spike me, dude. Spike something like drink and just take advantage of my body, dude. Cosby's out. You're That'd be looking. awesome, dude. I want to wake up on a hotel in the moon with you, dude. In a space shuttle. That's why I said let's ditch the bitch and go you and me, dog. Dude, yeah. Wait, Sounds so you really can't get an erection in space? That's what they say. But who, Lance Armstrong? <laughs> <laughs> the guy with one ball, dude? Come on. Yeah. Bill Gates? I don't know. Hmm. <laughs> Whoever yeah, well, are, yeah. well it, it appears you can't get a boner in space. It was true. I tried really hard. I was jerking the guy for 20, 30 minutes. I even FaceTimed Jeff Bezos and I said, hey, look, I still can't get hard. <laughs> I need to get hard in space, Bill. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Have you tried bringing a child? King <laughs> Chris <laughs> Oh, damn. That's then the Pope's on the fucking ship all of a sudden, huh? Oh, dude. Yeah, aren't we just sending a bunch of pedophiles out to represent humanity it's at this point? It's the new Epstein Island. Yeah. Mars is the out new Epstein Island, space, boy. Dude. Wow. Hell yeah, Mars is just for the boys. Yeah, I ain't on Earth. You can't hold me accountable for the laws that I broke down there. Different laws. That's different what Elon laws? said. Different, different hoes and different area codes. He said, he said Mars won't be governed by the laws of Earth. He Who said, said Mars that? will have its own rule. What a fucking genius Elon. that guy is. That's huh? smart, dude. Shake it up a little bit, dude. Oh, yeah. There is, um, my wife just started a recent uh, new job, and there is a, a a portrait, and it's probably like four by five, dude. It's this massive piece that takes up one entire wall. And it, no joke, it's this guy in between flowers and like a background or whatever, but it legit looks like fucking Elon Musk. And I'm like, dude, that's an Elon Musk. Meaning like, <laughs> I'll take a picture of it next time and show you guys. But it's fucking hilarious. Yeah. I start laughing. It's pretty oh, cool. Yeah. Um, I'm gonna really derail the conversation there, but um, we were talking about Elon Musk. Back. Music, <laughs> Who and takes this time? I said the N word. <laughs> <laughs> it was my turn. I got a little jealous. He got to say it, so I had to throw it out there. Welcome back, Matthew. <laughs> 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 so who Damn, takes over dude. for Epstein, dude? Because it just yeah, like whenever dude. a gang, <laughs> whenever a gang leader, you know, you. gets killed, you're me, the candidate. Are you nominating me, yes. uh, dude. Thank you so much. You heard him, Disney. <laughs> Disney. Uh, get t get at me when you guys are doing. I've been nominated. What's so. that bitch in jail that was associated with uh, Ghislaine Maxwell? Yeah, you're the new Ghislaine Maxwell. Oh, no. yeah. <laughs> She's out of jail, bro. She yeah. ain't in jail. She's in one of them Pablo Escobar. She's on deals. Mars, bro. She's in Mars getting fucked, dude. She was in that spaceship with Bezos. She's recruiting. <laughs> yeah. uh, I'm Ghislaine Maxwell. I must hide now. He's Ghislaine Maxwell. I'm Ghislaine Maxwell. I'm floating in space right now. You're all a bunch of cunts. Stupid Damn. cunts. All of a sudden, I want to take you to space, Ghislaine. Oh, uh, yeah. Well, you can't because you're too old for me, you... Pog. Oh, I want to fucking space jam that pussy up, dude. You know <laughs> yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm talking Michael Jordan dick and dude, not little Bron James, dude. Hell yeah, no. Nah. Yeah, my I don't work for the that. Chinese government, fam. She Hell said yeah. it wasn't good, man. 
what getting Space Jam? The new the new Space Jam. Oh, who watched it? My wife. Oh yeah. My Every, wife. Everyone I've talked to said that it wasn't good. I don't. Yeah. It looks I mean, stupid. it's uh, you can't expect it was going to be good. Yeah. Why? It's LeBron James. It's Chinese communist Look, propaganda. Although the animation yeah. was probably There's ten times better. Yeah, I mean, China paid him. Yeah. So. And LeBron James like can't be a up and coming Michael Jordan. Well, dude. dude, what's the number of like movies are made for China? Like they make the cuts. Like they make. I'm good. Uh, they make like millions. Well, thank you. More in like Fast and the Furious and all these movies and probably Space Jam. Like that's all like money they're going to yeah, be making. What was in that China. number like 136 million on opening and day like and week- 120 was in China? Yeah, like so, that's and that's insane. with every opening movie. Week, I think. Like Fast and the Furious made like a hundred. Yes, that was the same exact case. So like, we're China. It's. I mean, we are. We're just a little behind. We're like, you know, held back a couple of years. We'll get there, dude. <laughs> we wouldn't be taken. No, space dude, space. Seems, I was referring to Fast and Furious. It, it seems. Oh, okay. It gotcha. seems like we've lost a couple of chromosomes. You know, Fuck yeah. we didn't reach yeah. for the chrome. No. We didn't just get held back. I mean, mm. we lost a couple of chromosomes. Started changing our gender and shit. <laughs> we woke up. Whoops. Over here, though. China's like, what the fuck, bro? <laughs> what you doing over there, America? Uh, yeah. You're making this easy on us. <laughs> uh, building our buildings out of sheet metal and shit. Yeah, it's much more, much easier. Um, I have another like weird conspiracy. Okay. Oh, I kind of fell into. Have you guys ever heard of uh, flat Earth? Yeah, dude, I'm all about it. Oh, okay, never mind. Go pee. <laughs> <laughs> dolphin assisted births. Like a dolphin is helping the mother give birth. Yes. No, I've never heard of that. That's amazing. Have what, you not? What happens? Tell me about it. I think that's how we're going to have our next So kid, it started. Um, <laughs> I don't even know what it is, but it, that's how we're so doing it. So it's almost impossible to do. Why? So this started with this guy like in the 1960s, you know, free 11 and whatnot. And I think it was the Black Sea that he would do this um, for whatever. Like, there's some weird connection between dolphins and between these births. So basically, like he would take these. He, he did this with thousands of women. He'd take them to the ocean and then that was like a Cosby story, dude. Continue. It is. Then they'd have the baby, but like the dolphins would help like kind of push out the baby, like doing these like laps around the baby and using like sonar in these weird ways that would like have the baby kind of come out. And then the, all these uh, children would walk quicker, like talk quicker, like they'd function different. Like somehow the dolphins like sonically like kind of helped assist like these children yeah. like and like in this weird animal to don't tell my human wife way because she's wh- gonna believe it dude. but now all those places that you were able to do that before have all closed down and like there's stories like why would you have a baby when there's like pathogens and bacteria in the ocean there's sharks and be attracted by blood so like you're gonna lose your kid like this is a dangerous idea like and dolphins are dangerous or, or and whatnot so so a lot of these places then closed down right and then it's also federally like internationally illegal to even touch a dolphin that's like not being like held in In some in captivity in some sort like so in wild like it's a harassment it's like this like a crazy law like you can't touch or interact or feed or anything to a dolphin so it's like this weird conspiracy of like is this a way to make like human beings you know like smarter more in touch with like this animalistic like was this a part of our dna that like was coded in and like how we kind of like could grow as a society like are we part of this mammal this like tech weird technology that we don't understand but like the government like genetic technology in a weird like a like a nature growing with humans kind of way primal for sure or is this like just some like yeah, some weird hippie like it got like sexual harassment charges over there she's so confused about this conversation dude (laughs) What's going on, Gillane? You guys want to see a video of a dolphin helping a childbirth? What? Did we just find what you were talking about? Yeah. What's the thing? Um, let's not do the audio. Yeah, it's YouTube, <laughs> right? Yeah. Checking it out, dude. Like, Damn, you got a baby in there. <laughs> <laughs> I want to eat that. Let me let me eat that, girl. <laughs> It has special needs. <laughs> <laughs> it prints out a report. Like <laughs> her baby's gonna come out looking like me. <laughs> it doesn't look like the dad. <laughs> you lying bitch. <laughs> Damn, that's graphic, bro. That's just a baby popped out of a vagina right there. Just right out of the vaginas, dude. 
I don't see any sharks, CNN. Boner I don't check. see any Boner pathogens check. there, Fox News. You don't see, you know, the, you know, I don't see the danger in this. Why yeah, is there I see more danger on CNN at 8 p.m. What's up? Damn. That's what I'm saying, dude. We're yeah, why has that, that smart? Why has why has that been completely like criminalized and like shut down and shunned and just completely? Like, I don't know. It's just weird. It's a weird thing I'd never heard exist. Like, that thousands of kids have been born that way. And they studied these kids. Like, the fact that I said, like, they all progress faster, yeah. Way faster. So, and it's, I don't know. It's crazy to think, like, we don't know any, understand anything about dolphins, right? And what is it about their, their, the, what's the, they fuck a lot, dude. And rape. Yeah. The cerebral, what's the, like, the cerebellum or theirs is like cerebral cortex or something. That. And theirs is like what ninety times what ours is. It's some crazy number. Like, well, theirs is like what it's like in two. Sp- it's in two pieces, right? Mm. So, like, where we have like one of those, they've got two of them, mm. and I think it's like more highly packed or whatever. Yeah, that's it. Just it's weird to think about. I think it's very plausible that we're from the ocean in some weird way. That like you know, oct- like octopi. What do you mean? That I, th- I mean, where that's the theory. You know what I mean? Is that we went from the ocean to the land? Yeah, I guess it's not that that far. I guess it's far. Well, it's far fetched in like how some people may may or may not look at it, but it is like some weird kind of re- reincarnation of Earth and of like organisms and moving. That I feel like that's a weird tie to our past that we've completely cut out, kind of in a way, and we've really disassociated ourselves with it. That I mean, we, the oceans are are dump. Yeah, we just throw things out there. Oil leaks in it. We don't do anything about it. Like there's some part of that ecosystem that's so entirely important to our human race, and I think there's probably like evolutionary reasons and traits that it could be feeding us right now. But I feel like we become, become this like tech world where we're just like blasting off into space and throwing batteries at fucking whales. You know? Like, yeah, it's part of the problem of like. So if we could just create a world that was completely free of pests quote unquote and uh you know beasts and whatever uh any threats whatsoever and it was just a completely human world that was completely sustainable is that a goal that's that we want because that's sort of like one of the competing things uh one of the competing narratives that's coming at you that we're you know it's there's the ecology movement and then there's the you know humanism movement right and i feel like those you know as as, as the main secular movements are kind of the two things that are coming out right now that are butting heads where it's like so do we want to preserve life on earth or are we trying mm. to thrive as humanity Right, that's true but that's that's what we should in my opinion i mean that's what we should be doing because the forces of evil are human like our nature you know like those are the things it's a solar flare it's an earthquake mm-hmm. that we already have these are bigger enemies than yeah so and throughout human history these cataclysms have been uh the things that really set humanity back uh, right i'm good thanks like uh, that's what you know go black go backley tepley is supposed to be a, a you know, a, a shrine, I think, to commemorate, like, those the story of some, like, ancient catac- like cataclysm that knocked out, a, you know, a huge chunk of humanity. Mm-hmm. Well, I think also that was, like, a tripping center, too, right? That's, like, that's how people used to find God thousands, thousands of years ago. It's, like, the wine that they would drink mm-hmm. would be all be laced with stuff. I mean, right. it's been, it's, that's, that's what's crazy to me, too. Actually, I think that's almost a part of maybe why it might be an excuse for being an alcoholic. Maybe that's our <laughs> taste for alcohol. Because we're trying to get this thing that it used to feed us in a different way. It used to give us these spiritual quests, these journeys that we would do once every year, once every six months. And then you get like this tr- psychedelic trip that you'd meet God. And you'd have these psychedelic experiences that you could go back to life and live without trying to like distort that. So it's almost like an, an maybe like it's a prehistoric thing in your DNA. You keep on going for alcohol because you're like looking, you are looking for it to relieve you of like the th- constant thing that you're tuned into. Mm-hmm. But the reward isn't the same of what your brain is hoping that it's going to give you right yeah i guess any addiction though well yeah over over time it just became because it was but it's a desire for something that used to feed you like spiritually deep in the soul in a way that corn syrup honestly that blue-eyed americans of european descent are much more likely to become alcoholics as well why is that that's statistically and priests Mm -hmm. that's true (laughs) (laughs) that's true like you just threw that that's true you said as excuse for your alcoholism, and oh, I could like, use yeah, that. It might be genetic. Yeah. 
Well, it probably is, but that gen- genetic thing could, I, I don't know. Don't you think like if religion was something that used to hold, be the fabric that held life and existence and society together, but there was a reason because what was baked in there was extracted by whoever the crusaders were that then knocked that religion out. They stole from that religion. They kind of tweaked some things a little different, like the Catholics or the Christians. They turned that, what were using those temples into wine rather than being like a psychedelic beer. But they still used religion, right? Right. So what was it about religion that was holding the society together? What was the thread or the... Well, that was just because I feel like those kind of theories about like what is or what life and existence is, like when you're on psychedelics, just like, like you, you're you more in tune with those kind of things and you, ha- you have these like revelations with things rather than our society, which ha- supposedly has millions of Catholics and Christians. Christians that are terrible fucking people. But maybe if every six months they like finally went to these temples to think about God, life and existence. And they drink this wine and they had this crazy experience, but they felt like they're in a safe place because it was their religion. Then I feel like people would kind of be shaped in a different way. And we, we take that, taking that out. Yeah, Yeah, for sure. I I think I can picture, I can, I've categorized three things that religion like did that actually held it together. Uh, The first thing would be that experiential, like when you go there and you uh, all come together Mm through this trip through this journey that's like very um, that's always very uh, emotional and like cathartic um and then you tie that feeling to your philosophy of being mm. you know so you've um that's the other part that's the third yeah, thing is church, the story yeah, is the church cr- creates a, a story the religion creates a story for you to relate to your world by and Program so it's, you, it's yeah. like those three things right there when they're all working create a really really strong functioning society because everybody is is communal Mm -hmm. so they all feel like they're relying on each other and like when society back then was much smaller and towns meant a little bit more than they do now where it's just give up your taxes and some go sons yeah (laughs) kind of take care of it (laughs) fucking idiots so so you've got that and then there's no story now that binds you to the world you know so it's just like we're kind of just kind of guessing about what to do with the world and we don't know what happens after you die and 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 nihilism and you know pessimism are all you know and cynicism like these are all like the main you know isms yeah the main philosophies of the day right Mm -hmm. now right you know it's it's very like negative and very like nothing means anything so would you almost say it's like losing my religion I'd say it's almost something like that. Yeah, that's what I'd say too. And I, th- and you know, I'm, I'm, I don't want to say anti-religious. I think there's something to it, man. I just think it's mm-hmm. been so sucked dry of what it meant because it's just been this thing of like trying to program society. It's like it's been used as a tool to try to help and trick people and coerce them together till they're kind of st- all stuck together, right? And so it's like they took all the magic out of it. So if you, so what could, what could you, what could possibly replace? The storyline, the experiential Jeff Bezos, the Noah Ark going into space, and Amazon, the motherland. Yeah, I couldn't have said turning it Earth myself, into dude. a commerce and industry driven. It, it already is, right? Yeah, it's, it's already fries. there, dude. We we act like monopoly is illegal, thing. but every like there's four, five, six major companies that play a monopoly. Rule everything. Com- <laughs> Look at Cuba, man. I mean, I'm sure they'd love to have shopping You malls. can't right now. Yeah. Just crazy. <laughs> yeah. It's getting Facebook censored, dude. Yeah. Look at Sydney, Australia. Fuck, you can't do that. Damn, it's They're sealed, sealed up, up yeah. dude. <laughs> sealed up, eh? <laughs> See, wouldn't they all love to be shopping right now, dude? Yeah. Listening to this podcast, dude. Hail Bezos, to... dude. Hail Bezos. Yeah, I don't know. Well, luckily, they can continue shopping, dude. Yeah. But dolphins, dude. Dolphins giving birth, bro. It's crazy shit out there, dog. No, there are those little things, man, with like uh, with that example of the dolphins that do take you away from our. All right. So I think civilizations have grown, developed and reached a point where the earth itself recycles them. And then that's how the earth remains sustainable. Like it recycles these people and it moves on to you know an ice age with a gap of like no people so mother nature could rehabilitate herself in a sense she goes to rehab there there are still people in there though right it's just whoever was able to survive from the last thing and those might not be anybody from the civilization it might be the people who were hunting and gathering right yeah no for sure 
but it, and then that, so it's population control. It's what Bezos and Bill are trying to do. <sighs> They're trying to put that in our hands jokes, instead YouTube, of nature's jokes, hands. Bro, they're, <laughs> good, good. Bro, they're trying to play Thanos right now, dude. Damn. But somebody's got to play Thanos. Somebody's yeah. got to be Thanos. Isn't that man. also the truth? And if it isn't Jeff Bezos, it's Mother Nature. So, and I want the, my world to be run by a man. Yeah, I want my devils <laughs> to look like I want me. Father Bezos yeah, to do it. Disney taught me that. <laughs> <laughs> but... There, there is a weird truth to that too, like where the population's getting too big and too, like it's like what, what do, you, what do you do? Snap a finger, dog, with the five diamonds what, on your hand. One kid, one baby. That's what I'm saying. One, one. Look, I'm okay with that. If I have an only child, I'm good. I'd be great with having a kid, dude, and a life and a wife that I love, dude. Sounds dope, and a yeah. house and shit. It'd be cool yeah. to produce human beings instead of yeah, jokes. Dude. Yeah, and just <laughs> fucking get. Sp- Emails about me, like my hand would leave me too. Yeah. It's like, cool, bro. Shit's been weighing me down all week, homie. <laughs> like a damp cloths on my back. You should have taken today off, dude. Should, I wanted to, man. I really, really wanted to, dude. Couldn't find it in myself, dude. Bottle nose dolphins have bigger brains than humans, and they have a brain to body weight ratio greater than the great apes do, Damn, but dude. lower than humans. So maybe there is something they to are like the that second most encephalized <clears throat> because mm. we've known that frequencies that we take in by our audio receptors right. called our ears do affect us. Right. Like a hum or like a, a so it's a, when you're a baby in the fetus, yeah, that's, a, all you're, that's, that's all you're hearing. That's all you have. Yeah. Right. So maybe there is something to the sonar, you know, help or whatever they, they do to, Form this baby, dude. I have an idea. This is. I think we should do this off of uh, the company clock, dude. But I'm saying, dude, if uh, some kind of like a tanning bed where you get Bluetooth lasers and we do the dolphin births in Amazon health centers, we do Amazon sonar sonar births. Don't you, you, don't you think that uh, you're trying to become a dual right idea. now or what, dude? What's that? I think that's a great idea. Thank you. Don't you think that uh, the dolphin study? I mean, so for example, if you can afford to give birth with a dolphin, mm. um, you can probably afford to raise your child, right? You're probably extremely conscientious. Or you know what I space, mean? Yeah. Um, so mm. like the genetic components are already kind of in your fa- in the favor yeah. of the child more than likely. Uh, you know so what? like that maybe study want, probably maybe isn't super black legit. babies. That could be it. Yeah. The dolphins will, they kill the black ones, right? Well, they can't swim. Um, oh, well, they King resemble seals, it. so... Yeah. Hit the button again. <laughs> it's okay. We're, this is a safe, safe place. <laughs> they, got, they got this far. It hasn't been good. Who do you think you are as a safe place to explore unsafe thoughts through comedy, conversation, and games? Yeah. And yeah, I'd dude. like more thoughts hit me out because I'm really getting lonely lately. <laughs> <laughs> but I have a racist podcast. So it's, I mean, you know what? <laughs> what? I, I got to keep that on a low down sometime. How they come over to my apartment. They're like, oh, you have a podcast? I'm like, they do you, a background you call check on you, dude. <laughs> it's not good. A background check? Yeah. Damn. Damn. He's racist and he's sad. They listen to my music. He's sad. Shout out the Edison's dude. Got a new song out there. It's sound, sounding good. And then then this podcast. He, like, he, he wants want to any kill himself check. and he makes racist jokes in public often. Yeah. Sound, not to kill himself. He lives alone. He has a little dog. Yeah. I don't think that's a catch. <laughs> yeah. It sounds like a catch. Bro, dude. I'd marry that bitch. Yeah, dude. Marry that hoe, oh, dude. Yeah. Bring her to space. Hell yeah, dude. Twice. Uh, uh, yeah, that's a good point, though. Maybe they just were well off people because not everybody can just go have a, a dolphin birth, but maybe they could. Maybe it was, I mean, it could be like a cheap island. Like some of those places going, g- getting out they of it. went to Florida and been like, when you want to give birth <clears throat> next to a dolphin? When did this become <laughs> illegal, though? Uh, I can't remember. I don't know. Like Some time in 2000. It didn't happen. It wasn't happening that long. And it was pretty mm-hmm. like, you know, it wasn't like as was a huge thing. And also makes it was kind of like low key. Yeah, maybe. I don't know. I mean, it could I just be a stupid conspiracy. I just think it's interesting. I think th- there's something in- when you were going to the bathroom. I just think there's something interesting with the water and like those creatures and mm-hmm. how just the way that they're they're evolving and their DNA and our connection to it. My daughter was a water birth. Was she? She was in the bathtub, yeah. Dude, wet bag, dude. <laughs> <laughs> you You've been a wet bag since day one. Oh, damn. <laughs> <laughs> I can't do that. Dude. You can, okay. dude. I'll give you permission. Thanks. That was wow, good. Dude. Well, I should have asked for permission first. I nah. Think. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's easier to ask for forgiveness than to ask for yeah, permission. Sure that, dude. Dude. 
Shout out Bill Cosby. ¿Quién crees que eres? And that's why he remained innocent. And I believe him. Just like Judge Joe Brown, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Good dude. Great dude. And I mean, and you know, solid head on his shoulders from my perspective. He could maybe be a fan of this podcast. He's a judge. He's got to be a good yeah. judge. Something. Right? Yeah. Yeah, man. Well, were we at the time? Yeah, that was something, dude. That was mad fun, dude. I can't believe you've had this toy for like 20 years. Was that crazy? Never changed the batteries. Pedro, can we get that Jeff Bezos spoken word uh, from you to close us out? Well, let's start. I was rumbling. I was trying to turn it off. Sorry. (sighs) Bezos out in space. Bezos. Ping. Thong. Lace. (laughs) Bezos, American hero. Bezos, American hero. Santa delivery. Santa delivery. Santa delivery. Santa delivery. Santa delivery. Santa delivery. Going to space. Going back to Earth. You see that now, bitch? I'm better than you. More Ipaz. Amor Ipaz. We'll see you next